Hey, what are you doing? What are you looking at? I see you right there. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a chilly morning, that's for sure. Got 31 degrees. Had some frost and uh, a little bit of fog out there, too. I was on my way back from town there. Uh, I'd say it's probably 7.30 or 8 o'clock right now. And you can see off in the distance there, there's the remains of an old house that was built in the late 1800s. It's kind of falling in and uh, kind of going back to nature. It's kind of cool to see. And you can hear off in the distance some road noise. We're probably close to a mile or maybe three quarters of a mile away from the road. And it always seems like early in the morning there's a lot of road noise. But we're not really talking about that today. Today I want to kind of play radio. So I'm going to show you a really cool antenna here. Now this is a, uh, it's called a roll-up Slim Jim antenna. It's made out of a piece of twin lead. And I've got an adapter on it uh, from... PL259 to uh, SMA male, which I'm going to put on my handheld here. See how far I can get out there. Now these antennas are incredibly easy to make. I did not make this one. Uh, I bought it online somewhere. I can't remember where it was. But, uh, see that little tie wrap. I like that little thing. Had some deer snorting at me a little bit ago. Kind of keep my eyes open for them. Kind of neat to see them. Uh, okay, this, there's a piece of coax on this antenna. Can you see what I'm doing here? Okay. So you can see right there, I think you can see that, there's a little bump right here. That's where the coax goes into the piece of twin lead. And this right here is the antenna. This is it. And there's a little notch right here. That's how they're designed. Now this is called a Slim Jim. There's another style. It's called a J-Pole roll-up. Just about the same thing. They work just about as well. Uh, I've never really played too much with a uh, Slim Jim here, so I'm going to give it a shot. I've got a piece of string way too long for what I need it for, but I'm going to try it out and see if I can get it up over top of one of them branches there. And, get it hooked up okay, I got a little rock tied on the end here it's almost not big enough and I really don't have to go that high I'm probably up around 1100 feet here for elevation which around this area is just about as far as you can get uh, well, I don't have to go up that high and of course I got it stuck I think that's something here can you believe that? Let's try that one again. Let me untie this here. That's a good reason to use the string, because I might have just thrown the, the end of the antenna up over there. Uh, well, the antenna would be stuck now, and I'd have to climb the tree or run the chance of breaking my antenna. And now I can't get this not undone very well. There we go. I didn't need that extension on there anyhow. Let's try that one again. Okay. Take two. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on. Yeah, it's because I'm on camera here. There we go. Come on down, honey. There we go. Okay. Now, take this piece off here. And it is really a beautiful morning here. I don't know if you can see. You can see my breath. Okay, let's get this thing tied up and see if I can get him up in the air. Okay, got him up there. Now, of course, I've got 
I guess 12 foot of coax on the end of this antenna that I do not need, but I uh, like to have it just in case. Any, there's not a whole lot of loss in it. Man, I really shouldn't just lay it right on the ground like that, but <coughs> I'm going to try that anyhow. So, power off. Take this off, the rubber duck. These are called rubber ducks, by the way, the whip antenna, if you can see what I'm doing. I hope you can see. Uh, hang on to that thing. Now the adapter, of course, straight to the little handheld here. Threads in there. And it's amazing how fast everything changes here when it starts getting cold. This was so dense and thick not too long ago. <laughs> okay, the length of the antenna is from here just about to that branch. Now let's fire it up. Okay. Uh, let's pick a frequency that's kind of far away. I'm going to try that one. Uh, I'm not hearing anything. KHSW testing. No, that was too far. Let's try this one. The time is 8.23 a.m. This is the W8CC repeater PL71.9. That repeater is probably 40 miles away, maybe 45 from here. I can't really tell you exactly what it is. KD just to be testing on a clear. Okay. Well, it works. I can't get that with the rubber duck. Even with the extended rubber duck, I can't reach out that far. That's kind of cool. The first repeater I tried was probably 45 or 50 miles. Let's try another one that's probably, uh, probably just about as far as that one. There it is. K80 just a bit testing clear. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I've heard of people taking these and just hanging them in front of a window in their house, or like in an apartment or something, or one of those places where the the homeowner. Association thing won't let you put up antennas outside. Uh, I like it because it's it's so portable. You can roll it up and just you can almost put it in your pocket. You probably could roll it up if you had a large pocket. Let's try one more. Well, let's try the. No, I don't want to do that. Let's try a local simplex. This is Kilo Echo Eight Hotel Sierra Whiskey. This is Kilo Echo Eight Hotel Sierra Whiskey. Listening. Now, there's not usually a lot of people on here on that simplex frequency. That's not the national call. That's just another one that I kind of use. But uh, yeah, I didn't figure anybody would really be on this early on that one. Okay, you need just to be clear. <laughs> my condensation, my breath is con condensing on the on the screen. All right, well that's pretty cool. Uh, and let me power off. And of course it rolls back up easier than it went up. <laughs> uh, and I think I mentioned but using a string instead of just throwing the antenna up over. Because you could really just throw this weight. This this could be used as a weight your uh, connector here. But if you get it stuck in a tree, you're out in antenna unless you can climb the tree or whatever you're throwing it around. And you run the risk of getting crap inside there, which you really don't want that anyway. Uh, Okay, well, let's just try the put the rubber duck back on here, and we'll see if I can even hit that the far repeater there. No, I can't even get the courtesy tone out of it. No. Okay, you just have to be clear. No, no. So that antenna does make a difference. Of course it's bigger, but uh, this is an upgraded antenna. Anyway, this is not a stock antenna. It's very flexible. You can do whatever you want with it, but I kind of like it for that purpose. Okay. Well, first trial right there. I really liked it. Pretty happy with how it worked. 
Uh, do have another antenna that I haven't tried out yet. It's called a beam. It's a directional antenna. I don't have the coax for it yet. I'm still waiting on that. When I ordered it, I thought I had enough to hook everything up. Turned out I was about three foot short, and I didn't want to run everything haphazardly through uh, through a window or any of that stuff. So, kind of waiting on those parts to come in. That'll be a, another future video. Uh, also, the little wood burner, for those of you who follow my videos or whatever, uh, the mount for that to hang it on the wall is supposed to be delivered. When is that? I think in a couple days. I can't remember. But, yeah, that's, that's the antenna right there. It works good. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this and I hope it helps somebody. So. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. 73.